Wow, what a week we've had here in Brisbane. You wouldn't know it today, but the past four days we've just had relentless torrential rain and it's caused a lot of flooding. The Brisbane River is raging. Yeah, it was just unbelievable this rain, which they called a rain bomb event. Poor choice of words, really, with what's happening in the world at the moment. And considering what that idiot, I'd like to say more, but I won't, over there in Russia is doing to the people of Ukraine. But yeah, we had so much rain here. And now, basically this low pressure trough just hovered over the top of us for about four days and just dumped and dumped and dumped copious amount of rain. The shoe rotation has had a fair old workout this week. Week eight of the UTA 100 training block. But we'll go through how the week's been a little bit later. And also a little bit later I'll go through what I spoke about in the last video guys where I was suffering that fatigue after coming back from Victoria and how I think I've worked out why I'm feeling so fatigued. Okay this has never had water over it in all the times that I've run down here. Oh well, another wet pair of shoes. Alright, that one's a little bit deep. I've been wet enough over the last four days, so I'm not going to tackle that one. Rather than go through the whole week, guys, for week eight of this UTA 100 training block, I'm just going to show you one of the sessions that I did during the week. And during that, I'll put up how the week looked. Here's that session. Well, this makes a change from the heat and humidity it's raining it's windy a little bit cooler than normal don't get me wrong guys I'm not complaining I'll take a reprieve from the heat and humidity any day all right so the plan for today's run is uh, 16k or 10 mile to running to math heart rate once that's done then I'm going to finish off with a brisk walk up a hill up and down for 20 minutes just to get used to uh, doing that sort of work on some tired legs all right so let's get this run done and uh, I'll see you out on the run well, I spoke a little bit too early about the weather humidity is still here The sun came out a few minutes ago so it was very steamy just coming towards the end of the 16k run about to arrive at where we do the hill so all right arrived here at the hill so we go up up here, just going to do 20 minutes of this and then uh, I'll jog back to the car and that'll be it. Alright, let's get this watch started again. Let's go. And back down again. Halfway through, you wouldn't think that just walking up a hill would make you work so hard, but after a 10 mile run, I can tell you my glutes and hamstrings are screaming at me and I'm breathing pretty heavy just walking up this incline. My heart rate topped out at 127 on that climb, so it's making me work. That's one big worm. Whew. There we go. 
20 minutes ride on. Let's cross over this road. So that was eight reps up there. And oh, it makes you work, guys, I tell you. Whew. So about a mile all up of those hills. So just a good way to finish off that 10 mile run. All right, just gonna jog back to the car now. Bit of stretching and then we're all done. Now the reason I add those hills to the end of a run like that is just to get the body used to doing some elevation on tired legs because at the UTA 100 there is thousands of meters of elevation thousands of stairs so I got to get the body the legs used to doing that sort of work on tired legs so there'll be more of that to come in the next training block of this UTA 100 so the hard work is just beginning you might have noticed that I haven't got my ear shots in today unfortunately I think they've died after that glowing review I gave them They've just stopped charging. No amount of wiggling them around in the charger, they just won't charge. And that's really disappointing because I do like wearing them. And that's the second pair I've had because the first pair I had to send back lasted less than six months. Same sort of issue, wouldn't charge. And now this second pair, actually probably about the same amount of time, six months, it's just stopped charging. Disappointing. So I'm back to running, just listening to the sounds of nature around me. So the swans have set up nests there on the lake. And there is still rain about in Brisbane as it chucks it down again. Now I mentioned in the last video in this training series about how I was feeling fatigued after coming back from Victoria, back to the humidity here in Queensland summer. I said that I'd worked it out and it's only been since I've been weighing myself before and after some of my runs. And I discovered that when I was in Victoria, I didn't sweat a lot. Even though it was warm, there was no humidity or very little humidity. Here in Brisbane, I was just sweating bucket loads and the humidity and the heat was really getting to me. So I decided to start weighing myself and I couldn't believe what I found out, that I was losing between two and three and a half kilos nearly every time I was out running. Obviously, the more weight loss was for the longer runs. Now, when I only weigh 69 kilos and I'm losing three and a half kilos, that's more than 5% of my body weight on my long runs. That is really significant. Sure, I was hydrating, taking on plenty of water, just wasn't replenishing the body enough to recover. So with all this sweat loss and the heat, and just the accumulation of day on day on day just is leaving me fatigued. Don't get me wrong, some of that fatigue comes from the fact that I passed through a thousand kilometres for the year this week. In fact, I haven't been under 100 kilometres per week for about the last three months. Now, when I do do my long runs out there on the trails, carrying all the trail gear, I do use tailwind hydration, so that does have some electrolytes and nutritional value. But for the rest of my runs, just been relying on water. And I don't think that's enough. I think I'm gonna have to start introducing some tailwind to some of my midweek runs as well, just to try and keep my electrolytes nice and high, make sure that I'm getting enough of uh, what I need. I'm no nutritional expert or anything like that, but it just seems to make common sense that if I'm losing so much sweat, then I need to be replacing the electrolytes and everything that's 
that I'm losing in that sweat. I've started to introduce some coconut water, which is high in all those electrolytes that I need. I did look into other supplements to replenish the electrolytes, but I'm just going to try the coconut water to begin with, and we'll see how that goes after a few weeks. And I've also started taking some protein shakes, just trying to boost my protein. For those who watch the channel for some time, you know that I am a vegan runner. Any extra protein I can get is really welcome. Now there's nothing special with the protein shakes. I chuck in a banana, some blueberries, some dates, a little bit of maple syrup and some almond milk. And I'll add in a couple of teaspoons of hemp protein powder. Give it a good waz. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. So I've got into the habit now of regularly weighing myself before and after runs. I think it's a good habit to get into because especially in summer, it's really good to know how the body is reacting to the heat. It's a good indication of how much you are really losing on your runs. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Week eight in the UTA 100 training series. Hope you're enjoying your running. Until next time, run free, run happy.